So here it is. Here's the end of our math. Here's the beginning of it. So tan theta minus secant theta quantity squared is equal to 1 minus sine theta over 1 plus sine theta. So first thing here was, was binomial expansion, right? So here's the binomial expansion of this. Isn't that right? So I open this up. This thing times itself is tan squared theta, right? Minus 2 tan theta secant theta plus secant squared theta is equal to, right? Remember, this is right-hand side, and we're not going to mess with this, right? Tan theta is sine over cosine, so it's sine because it's squared. So this squared brings this squared, doesn't it? Is that all right? If you look at this, Jason, is tan theta times secant theta. So here's my tan theta. Here's secant theta. Sorry, that shouldn't be like that, should it? Right, but when I'm, I got ahead of myself, so I multiplied them, sorry. Plus this, right? So we'll get sine squared theta here, minus 2 sine theta, plus 1. Is it all good? So here's the sine squared is here. The negative 2 is here. The positive 1 is here. Jason multiplied cosine theta times cosine theta, so cosine squared theta, cosine squared theta, cosine squared theta. Is that all right? So I move down a little bit. This is where it got to be a little bit messy for me. So here's all this mess here, right? Then what I did was factored this in the two factors of this, right? This is ax squared plus bx plus c here, isn't it? And I realized if I multiply sine theta minus 1 times sine theta minus 1, if you, if, if you expand this, You'll get this back, won't you? So far, so good. Then I'm looking here, and this is where, this is where I think I back out a negative one here. So, oh, then you know what I did? I opened this up because this is difference of squares here, isn't it? Is that all right? So here's our difference of squares here. So there's the difference of squares. And then look, I'm looking here and I'm like, you know what? I know something can come out here. How many of you can see that it's just the bottom pieces are looking a little turned around, don't they? So look what I do on the next line. I just decided I'm going to take this. What I did was I switched these two pieces. You see, I picked them up and just moved them. Community the property multiplication, just moved them. And then I back out this negative one here. Right? And that gets rid of that one. Does that make sense? Is that good math? So that negative sign right here that I pulled out, Billy, is right here. So this one right here, isn't it? So I, I cancel what I could cancel. And then here I multiply this negative sign back in, Billy. And I get negative times a negative is a positive, And a negative times a positive is this negative. And there's our answer checked off. Wow, right? Yeah? Yeah, you could have done tried difference of squares in the beginning. There's a ton of different ways to attack this. So, and all of them are okay. I looked at the way that um, that Elsa did it. Elsa broke hers out. Elsa, what did you do? Break yours out? Did you do this? But then you didn't. You didn't change these, right? Because see, at this point, I decided because I saw everything here has to do with cosine. Tan is over cosine. Secant is over cosine, and obviously secant squared is over cosine squared, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, oh, well, that's right. So if you, t um, what Elsa did, she, she took this identity here, right? And you took secant squared theta and replaced it with what? Yeah, one plus tan squared theta. You see that? That that's a really cool way to go at it. I didn't really think of it that way until I saw that. So, okay. So, elementary functions of analytic geometry. Uh, analytic trigonometry.